All right. Hi, Richie. How are you? How are you doing? Good. Good. Um, Richie, um, I think everybody knows you. Do you consider yourself as a, as a free ride parent, pioneer? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And so, which were your uh, bike buddies when you started? Well, I kind of started in Kamloops. I was a BMX racer, but um, Brett Tippy lived just around the corner from me. Okay. And so we went to school together and played around a lot in the hills. And then on the weekends, I would go BMX racing with Wade Simmons. It's very ironic and cool that the three of us ended up on a team together and then in the Mountain Bike Hall of Fame together. It's uh, like a dream come true, really. Okay, Richie, I guess um, you've seen everything and been everywhere. So what's your favorite spot to ride? I, I really love the area from Vancouver to Pemberton, just north of Whistler. But if I had to really pinpoint it, I think Squamish, right between Vancouver and Whistler, is the best trails, best terrain, best dirt, really good trail builders. So I think Squamish, BC is the place. Yeah, I've never been there, unfortunately. Um, so, um, which is your favorite bike, if you could choose one bike for the rest of your life? Uh, I have a YT Capra. 27.5 and I think this is pretty much the best bike I've ever had seen. It's, it's the best one out there. The largest gap or the biggest drop you hit? Oh, there's uh, north of uh, Whistler, there's a town called Lillooet, small town, and I built this pretty big jump over a ravine. Yeah. And uh, there was no dirt in the area. So we, and it's a native Indian land, and sadly, uh, the natives don't take care of their garbage very well. So there was a lot of kind of things laying around, and I found an engine block from a car and a dryer drum from a drying machine, and we built the takeoff of this jump with all these parts and then rocks and then found a little bit of dirt to put over top of it so it was it was quite an event and it was uh, one big jump one time and it took two days <laughs> really cool and so one more question about um, some events like the red bull rampage or like a big mountain free riding events do you think it will evolve to a more trick orientated or, or to more big mountain style like in former days well i think it's probably moving in the trick area, but there's a lot of people fighting to keep it uh, raw and real. So it's a difficult question. I think it depends on which of the top riders uh, fight hardest for what they want, but I hope it stays more Big Mountain, because the tricks are in slope style and dirt jumping, you know, we need to keep that kind of the raw, real terrain, downhill bikes, triple, you know, double clamp forks, I hope. Okay, I, I suppose to you to, to tell that. Uh, Richie, nice to meet you. You too, man. Thank you very much. Cool. Have a nice day. Me too. <laughs>